Hey friends, it's Jay Bayer from Convince and Convert, co-host of Social Pros. And Social Pros fans, I wanted to let you know this week, a very special announcement. I have just launched this week a brand new podcast called Standing Ovation. As some of you know who listen to the Social Pros show, I do a, uh, a lot of my time out on the road giving presentations. I am a professional speaker in addition to being a social media consultant and a digital agency owner. And one of the things that's always fascinated me about the speaking industry are stories. So much of what makes speakers effective and successful are their ability to tell stories, stories that mean something to the audience, stories that impart wisdom, instruction, entertainment, and otherwise. But, but where do those stories come from and how do they get optimized over time? That's what Standing Ovation is all about. The show is Standing Ovation, where professional speakers tell the stories of their stories. In each episode, I play a clip from a famous story from a professional speaker, and then that particular speaker and myself talk about the story for 25, 30 minutes, something like that. Where did the story come from? How has it been changed over time? How has it been improved over time? What tips do they have to be a better speaker? So whether you are a professional speaker, somebody who wants to give more presentations at industry conferences, or just somebody who wants to communicate better internally, either in your company or even in your own family, I think Standing Ovation will be a show that you will learn a lot from. I have to tell you, honestly, I have learned so much from each and every guest. Every time I've recorded an episode of this program, I have learned a lot and I've been a professional speaker for more than a decade. So social pros fans, I want to give you an opportunity to get a little taste of standing ovation. What follows in just a second is episode one, the first ever episode of Standing Ovation featuring Hall of Fame keynote speaker Scott McCain. You can get Standing Ovation all the different places that you get delicious audio. And if you like Standing Ovation, I sure hope that you will take the time to subscribe to the show. So I get in the cab and the guy jogs over and he gets my bag and he puts it in his trunk and he jumps into the car and he turns around and he sticks out his hand and he says, Mr. McCain? I said, well, yeah, but how, how'd you know my name? He said, I saw it on your luggage tag. Figured I might as well use it. <laughs> he said, I'm Taxi Terry. I thought, oh, great, a motivational cab driver, you know. <laughs> I shake his hand. Hi, Terry. So we take off. He says, so where are you going tonight, Mr. McCain? He said, uh, well, heading to the Marriott downtown. He said, fantastic, sir. Let's check out the weather. He reaches over. Now, all of a sudden, I realize he's got this pocket PC mounted in a very elaborate bracket in his dash, and he hits a button, and the screen pops up, and he's got a magnifying thing over it, so very clearly I can read from the back seat what's on the screen. He's live, real-time on the Internet. Weather.com pops up. You can see the seconds ticking away. It is the up-to-the-second weather forecast for the next three days for Jacksonville. He says, oh, Mr. McCain, I hope you are a golfer. You're going to have fantastic t weather here in Jacksonville. He says, sir, first of all, tell me, why are you here? I told him a little bit about the companies like I told you, and then I told him about, you know, here to give a speech on, on customer relationships. Customer relationships? I am so into that, he says. Do you mind if I record our conversation? <laughs> Who are you really? You know, have you seen Taxi Cab Confessions on HBO? I think, you know, by the next show. And I, wait, wait, wait. How come you are so able to record the conversations in your cab? He says, well, you see, sir, I set it up that way because that way if, like Dr. Smith, a local customer, he gets in the cab and I'm taking him to the airport and he mentions that his daughter Jill is just enrolled in Vanderbilt. As soon as he gets out of the cab, I record that information. And then that night when I get home, I take all these little recordings I've made throughout the day and I take that information and I enter it into my database. A cab driver with a database... So the next time that the doctor calls for a ride to the airport, I've got that ready. It kicks it out. He gets in the cab. I turn to him and say, by the way, doctor, how's Jill doing at Vanderbilt? He said, you think he's going to ride with anybody else? It obviously is a true story. It, it happened yeah. to you. Yes. How, how long until it went into your program? I mean, did you know, as soon as this happened to you, did you say, all right, this, this is, this is gold from heaven. I, I will be telling this story. Someday I'll be on a podcast. Someday I'll be on a podcast. We're going to deconstruct this story. It's not Jay good. Bear. Yes, yeah. someday, yeah. You know, you, one of the things that struck me over the years is, thank God, you know, could you imagine if I was one guy later in line? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <It> was, Career <laughs> over. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I'm, 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 I'm your best greeter at Walmart, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it is a true story. I did tell what had happened the next morning because like, like all speakers, I'm kind of looking for a way to locally connect, you know, with that crowd. So I just thought it would be kind of a story in passing for this IBM group. And one of the lines that I've, I've added, that's kind of a humorous line, particularly with a tech group is that, you know, what happened is Taxi Terry sold IBM a service agreement, <laughs> so <laughs> which uh, is, is, is kind of a nice uh, parallel. But, uh, yeah, I did not know that. And I just told the story and, and they went crazy uh, because of that connectivity. But as I was telling it, it's one of those that you, you also realize that there are several greater lessons to be learned from that. Um, it's not just a customer experience story. One, one of the great things. Uh, about the story, at least for my speaking career, is that, you know, now it's a story about disruption. How, how did Taxi Terry avoid disruption uh, from Uber when when so many did not? It, it, it's a leadership story. How did he take, you know, how, how did he lead his small business through this difficult time for others in his industry and become successful? But but I think at, at the core, it is a customer experience story. And it, it also, I think, kind of illuminates that you know, there was bad customer service in the nineties. There's, there's bad customer service in <laughs> always will be 2020. And, and, and we, we have to help organizations and, and individuals. And, 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 there, and there's the other aspect of the story as well is that, you know, it's, it's also about personal responsibility, how you treat your particular customers, you know, transcends everything. And I, I think that's one of the things we often overlook in a, in a good story is that how you bookend that story is the impression it will make on the audience. One of the things I'm always so careful about is uh, if you've heard me before, I don't want people to think I'm the guy with one speech, right? So yeah. I'm always very conscious about if they've heard me before to, to use completely different and new material. But one of the things I've learned the hard way is there is a percentage, for example, if 30% have heard me before, but 70% haven't, that 30% to tell the other people that haven't, oh, you're going to love the story he he tells about a cab driver. And then if I don't tell it, it's made that 30% look <laughs> right. bad, right? And I yeah. never- Play the ever, hits. You know, Play the hits. Yeah, well, yeah, I never anticipated that we as speakers could have- Hits. So-called hits, right? And they-, they it, Now, if everybody in the audience has heard it before, then there's no reason. If 90% have heard it before, no, I don't tell it again. But if it's- 70, 30, you know, uh, maybe even 60, 40. I will preface it by saying, I know that some of you have heard this before. However, I, I, I did a program a while back in Australia and didn't do the speech. And the, the VP running the meeting got up and said, you know, Scott, we love your speech. The one thing we were disappointed about is we didn't get to hear Taxi Terry again. Would you come back on stage and tell that story one more time? Wow, an encore, a, a <laughs> little, an actual <laughs> encore. He went he back, he went, went up stage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, had, a Jack, had a Jack Daniels, waited for the applause, came back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Living the dream, man. Living but, the dream. Uh, it's, it, you're right. It is, it is like a, a, a musician with a hit is that we, we – the difference is we can tweak it and the audience doesn't know, but at yeah. the end of the day, they want us to play our hits. 